Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Trash Talk on Lancer. In today's episode, Napoleon. So, who actually doesn't know about him? D. Napoleon, Emperor of France, greatest commander in history. So good in fact, he got a set of war named after him for how much ass he kicked. He was also, falsely accused as being short, but he also, formed the basic of many post-feudalism laws with a legal code called the Napoleonic Code. He was effectively made into an immortal figure thanks to it. To live up to his history, Napoleon was made to last in the battlefield, standing tall at the tip of the spear to withstand everything in its way. On its stats, Napoleon is a tough mech with low health, good armor, average evasion and E defense. Its speed is decent. So is its heat cap. While its sensor range is short, it has a better save target than most. Also, it is the first mech in the Trash Talk series to be as size half. So what does size half do? Nothing for the most part except some systems and traits might affect it differently, and if your GM like fighting in type corridor only a person could walk through, Napoleon can basically act like a horror movie antagonist. On to its traits, it has two of them. First, well shielded makes it so that if Napoleon will take half damage from an effect like weapon, system, explosion, or whatever on a successful check or save, it reduces the damage to one instead. Second is Flash Aegis. When Napoleon braces, it reduces all incoming damage to one. Both of these traits, effectively made Napoleon one of the toughest mech in the entire game. So how well armed is it? Not much with a single mount, a main slash O. But it has 7 system points and you're gonna need it. As for its core power, the Harrison Armory True and Black Aegis installed within the mech activates itself. Upon activation, a black field covered your mech and reduces all incoming damage to one. Every, incoming, damage. Please do remind yourselves that this applies after armor and resistance so you will still take one damage but only one. However, this comes at a drawback of your mech now only capable of moving, boosting, grappling, ramming and improvised attack. You cannot attack at all, and you could only use system with the shield tag. If you do use any system without the shield tag, Aegis will immediately shut down. You also, cannot do free action or overcharge, cannot be a target of any tech actions nor benefit from any. In fact, you can't even communicate with your teammates except with hand gestures. However, you can still be affected by statuses, grappled, knockback, and heat. Otherwise, you can still interact with stuff normally and, this core power lasts until the end of the scene. It's obvious as to what this core power do, making you the toughest son of a bitch in the battlefield and allowing you to control the battlefield with all sort of shield based systems. And Napoleon, came with a whole bunch of it, in the first section, you get stasis generator and stasis bolt. Stasis Generator allows you to freeze a character you can see on the spot within range 5 of you if they failed an engineering save, like they were stopped in time. In this state, the character is effectively stunned, but they cannot be damaged, moved, targeted, or be affected by any character, force or effect at all. This lasts until the end of the character next turn and this can only affect the same character once per scene. An allied character could also voluntarily be in stasis by voluntarily failing the engineering save, saving it from whatever danger that was about to befall them. Stasis Bolt Stop any projectile dead in their path. To use it, you must first charge the bolt with a quick action. After charging, for once per round as a reaction, when you are an ally and range 5 is being targeted by a ranged attack, you can use up the charge to stop it by contesting it with your own ranged attack roll. If your roll is higher, the attack has no effect and fails to hit you. While you can only hold on to one charge, the charge can last until the end of the scene or until you used it up. In the second section, aside from Napoleon frame itself, you get Stasis Barrier and Phasing Mod. Stasis Barrier, is a barrier. Four spaces high and four spaces wide, the barrier does not obscure line of sight nor provide cover. It instead has 50% chance of eating any attack that must go through it, whether it's melee, ranged or tech attack. The barrier is also impermeable, which means nobody can walk through it and it's indestructible, lasting until the end of the scene or until you deactivate it with a quick action. However, you can only deploy the barrier near you upon activation, and you have limited number of it. So place it wisely. Phasing mod, is a weapon mod that makes your gun capable of shooting right through wall. Your weapons, whether it's melee or ranged weapon, can now go right through cover and ignore a line of sight as long as you roughly know where the target is. However, attack done without line of sight to the target has a 50% chance of phasing right through the target missing them entirely. In the last section, you get Harrison Armory Black Shield and Displacer. Harrison Armory Black Shield can be used to conjure a bubble of barrier in a white area around your mech. After activation, nothing is capable of entering or leaving the barrier including light. If there are characters caught on the edge of the barrier, 
they can roll agility roll to choose which side they end up on, otherwise you get to choose. The barrier is impermeable and invulnerable, no action or effect can enter in and out of the barrier, even those that ignore line of sight. At the end of your next turn, the shield drops. And finally, displacer. Displacer is a gun that teleports objects into elsewhere with both massive advantage and massive drawback. First, it deals a solid 10 AP energy damage with each shot that can affect over a small area. That's really good. But it also needs reloading after each shot, can only have one of these mounted in mech and it generates a whopping 10 heat with each shot. You are going to be cooked alive with each shot from this gun, but it is a very powerful weapon. Use it wisely. As a conclusion, Napoleon is near invincible mech that can control the battlefield to support its allies. Whether it's taking the fight head on or protecting its allies from incoming fire, Napoleon can do it all. Thank you.